So I've got a fair amount of dexterity. Look. <laughs> Here are our stats right now. Nine nine eight six. We are we are fairly garbage. Comparatively. At least we've got a good way of checking for pork chops. We've also Did I already fight the dragon? I think I already fought the dragon on this. On New Game Plus. Oh. Leaving you alone. I really wish those guys would actually like help me. So to just I'm not even gonna say hinder me, they really don't do anything. Gotta remember, I got butt stomps. Butt stomps are lord! Yep. Also gotta say, crossbow's really nice for trigger figure. I just wish there was a way of- Hey, finally! Unfortunately, until I identify it, I can't do anything with it. So indigo potions are potions of poison. I'm actually kinda- Nope, it's not dragon time. I wanna say... Dragon time was the first level. Okay, well that's one dead. That's too dead. Okay, we still don't have gold collectors, so I have to be a little careful about losing my gold to somewhere, like, inconvenient. But it's not so bad. But the problem is, like, usually I do, like, 20-30 damage here. Because scumming, but I've just been having a bunch of, like, really regular runs. He's not dead yet. Now he's dead. I've been having a bunch of really regular runs recently without a single... without a single Book of Healing. Which actually, I mean, let's be honest here. If I always got Book of Healing, it would probably get really stupid. That said, it would be kind of nice from t time to time. Ha! Ah, okay. How did I avoid taking any damage there? I ain't a mystical dodge wizard. That's what I am. Okay, let's... Do we even care? No, I don't even care. Let's just leave that there for the time being. I got the bombs. I can probably just blow him up. Then again... I'd probably rather save that for the Abomination. If I can get a double shot straight into the Abomination's face, that'd be great. Okay. What do you got for me? More bombs, more rings, and... Some boots. Pale boots. Super speed. Why do we keep finding boots of super speed? I've found like seven of them today. Luminous, which would be nice, but at the same time, we've already got two rings slotted up for God Cursing. Unfortunately, they're both... They're both... Gold collection, but the stat, uh, the itemization on them is exactly what we need. Unless we, you know, get the book of healing and we can suddenly start scumming really hard. We pretty much don't have an option there. At this point, I've accepted that this run is going to die pretty much the way the last one did. In flames, somewhere along the way. Up. But, you know what, there's a certain grace in knowing that you're gonna die. I really wish there was a way to, like, charge the crossbow faster. I think it would be really cool. Okay. So now we piss this bastard off. And just repeatedly crossbow him. Ow! Shit! Well, there goes all of my mana. Oh, that was the wrong move. I thought he was doing a different thing. Okay, well that's okay. I got a lot of, I got a lot of other alternatives. AK just repeatedly crossbowing him. Oh crap! I didn't know he did that. And there he goes. The wild blue yonder with you. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised that actually killed him. I guess I pumped a lot more arrows into him than I thought I did. Huh. You know what? Now that we're here, we've got this Wand of Healing. Let's actually use and abuse it, considering we've got it here. And I've got so many scrolls of re recharge, it's actually kind of comical. Unfortunately, we're no wizards, so that doesn't help us either. You know what would be really cool in this game? If you could multi-class. Every, every time you pass go effectively, it's like, alright, pick another talent tree. That would be nice. Okay. So... Oh, I do have mana re to reflect projectiles. That's actually kind of nice. So I don't have to worry about those things. Fortunately, we're just carrying around all of these garbage items until I can find a... The requisite items. Hmm. Well, in that case, let's just get rid of all the scrolls of teleport. 
they're really not that great, given the situation we're in. Oh, right. I should probably fist things. Even though the, the wand actually does m more damage. Which is kind of sobering. Okay, well, I should be fine. I should be... Should be okay. That didn't work as well as I expected. Alright, this is dumb. I'm trying to uppercut the bats and it's not working. As well as it... I was, I was hoping. Because unfortunately the, the shout, actually... I don't know. kind of wish the shout was a different key or something. Like, uh... Or you could, like, map it as a spell. You know what? That would make the most amount of sense. Holy fuck. That was... Oh! Do not like those guys. Do not like that situation. Ah, oh, man. The fact that they do 20-30 damage unassisted... I mean, that's like... Boop! Six, that's like a sixth of my health. That's pretty bad. Huh. No, I don't, I don't think that would be good. I, I don't think, you know, after New Game Plus, returning their, their stat points to them and letting them pick a new class. Like, that would be... meaningless. Maybe not... Maybe meaningless isn't the right word. But, like, you got this far with a class. I, I think it would be much cooler if you let them pick, like, a new trait path or something. But, you know what? Maybe that's just me. Okay, so we've got another indigo potion, which we don't care about. We've got some armor. We've got to pretty much check out every single piece of armor and boots that we can. Whether or not we want to. Just because one of these might be good. Unfortunately, oh crap, I could have actually two birds, one stone, that one. It had okay stats, but it just did not have anything else. Oh, it got infinite jumps back on. Gotta just test everything. I should probably stop, though. Okay, so what are we even missing? We're missing a scroll of identification. Hat-wise, we're okay. For the time being, gauntlet-wise, we were set. Where's that, uh, scroll of identify? There we go. That's what we're looking for. We might as well use this here. Okay. For, thought for a second I lost my infinite jumps, and I was just like, how'd that happen? How, where, how am I, how am I supposed to leave? How am I supposed to go places? Oh, well. Let's see. So we're going, oh, man, we're, go we're going to the, we're going to the forest, and we still have not found another shrine of the shackled. This annoys me a lot. But while well, we're here, and it's kind of peaceful. Let's heal up. Perfect. Oh. I don't think I'd like that, though. So, uh, Neo Luke Engineer is suggesting that, you know, you, you get to respec as a completely new class. Um. After you get to, like, New Game Plus, so you, you can try again with, like, you know, same level, same equipment, but different character. Uh, but the... And so he wants to do that because it's hard to get to level 5 with the Sword Warrior. Honestly, like, that's kind of a bad... That's kind of bad reasoning, almost. Can I... Alright, I totally can make that jump. What am I doing? Nope! Fuck. Fuck spiders, man. Fuck spiders. At least we do a fair amount of damage now. Which is kind of nice. No, we don't. We barely do damage. In fact, we do less damage than the last run. The only reason why we're arguably more powerful is because I have nothing to worry about. I'm killing something. Okay, not so much anymore. I was killing something. Uh, but like, I don't know. If it's hard... Oh, I must have killed a spider. Well, that's kind of useful. But like, I, I know it's hard to get to level 5 warrior, but it's not that hard. And like, honestly, I think that would kind of bankrupt the game in a way. Just because it's like, alright, so here's this hard character that you really want to be able to play as. Let's pick a really easy character so you can have the hard characters run. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel... 
It doesn't feel like roguelikey to me. That just that just sounds like uh I don't know. I don't know. Oh crap, you're right there. And fuck spiders. At least they don't uh they only take like one or two butt stomps. And now that we're here, butt stomps are actually viable. Alright, so we got the boss gunning for us. What do we get? Gauntlets, don't care. I gotta worry about Featherfall a little bit. Or, not Featherfall, falling damage. Because these levels are huge. We got this bastard. Never mind, he's he's quite dead. We get some more stuff. Lots of stuff. And unfortunately our inventory is still full. Huh. Okay, so... You know what, I might as well just kind of dump the things that we're just kind of holding in escrow for the time being. Let's just make sure we don't lose them. Blending Silver Band? Alright, so you're completely worthless. You're kind of useful. You're worthless. Okay, so we're still missing our gauntlets. How do we how do we deal with this? I really wish it, uh, equipment wouldn't actually stay on the person. It just doesn't make sense this way. How? How do we deal? Can't put anything on. Can't take anything off. Can't get rid of anything. I mean, I could, I, you know what? Hmm. I kind of want to get rid of the longbow, but at the same time, I do kind of want to. I, I do kind of want to get rid of it. It's hard to tell. Uh, let's see, Garland Vale. I didn't uncurse all of my inventory, so I uncursed all of the stuff that I'm wearing. But that doesn't mean I uncursed all of my inventory. Well, let's just drop that for the time being. I'm still looking for that. Uh, Still looking for that curse. Curse Shrine. So we can get that. Everything is golden. Can't get that. Problems problems abound. So this is more Frost Nova, which does nothing. So we've got this big wide open expanse here, which actually is kind of perfect for me. Because we have really nothing to fear. And a homing bow that does crazy damage comparatively. I'm just gonna sit here mashing arrows. Well, shit happens around me. Okay. Problem is, I don't have any poison resist. I I could have had poison resist, but I kind of chose not to. Well, let's just hit him from here. I got I got plenty of mana. Eh, no, I don't. But if I can get him down to three heads, then I'm not gonna have any fear. So I can just keep like going straight down. Okay. You know what? We have hit the fucking threshold. Never mind. I would like to retain as much health as possible before going into some of these boss fights. Well, we just got ourselves another something. I actually know what that potion does. A lot of these boxes here. Alright, so he's got four left. Three left. Okay, now we're in the fu fuck it threshold. Unfortunately, this dude is very bouncy. And I'd like to fight him without his heads interfering for a very short period of time. So I can just get him trapped in a corner. Because they do a lot of damage to me. To say the least. I think we're okay. Especially if I kind of aim up and away. Nope, that didn't work. Because what you really want to do... Is just keep punching. This is garbage. I really do not like this boss fight. At least these guys have like... Oh, you know what? If you do enough damage to them, eventually you just can kill them that way. Five health at a time per head, though. That's pretty bad. We get another ring. Ah! Okay, well, I know I know where a scroll of identify is, so we're, we're going to identify rings. Why? Because some of them might be good. Most of them ain't. Like so. Okay, let's go get those gauntlets back. Let's go get that treasure key back. Well, we'll figure this out. Hmm. Well, that changes things. Okay, that means I can actually chuck a lot of things here. Yeah, there are no golems this floor. That's an interesting point, DZ Rocker. Okay. So now we've got this ring, which is far better than this ring. So I can get rid of that one. I mean, they're both pretty good, but I actually... No, wait, hold on. Let's look at this. I 
You know what? I'm going to bring both with. But let's get rid of the two damage. I like the two damage, but it's not as useful. Let's grab this. We're still out of inventory space. We're always going to be out of inventory space. Okay. So I might have secret rooms. I have no idea. Let's just dump those for a second. Grab the book. Book is a blink. Oh, whoa. Those, this gauntlet. Oh, right. Those gauntlets are plus three intelligence, which is great. Sort of. Really, no secrets there. Could have fooled me. Yeah, there's no place for a secret room on this entire floor. That's kind of interesting. Unless there's one directly over to the right. Nope, there ain't. Odd. Okay, so we've, we've got all of our cursed stuff with, right? Yes. Because these two rings. This one I'd probably want to curse eventually anyway. Uh, might as well keep using these, considering I keep using it myself. And still, no, no pertinent shrines. It's weird. I don't like it. Still, uh, we're live. That, that is a huge boost. So let's start putting points into luck. Because if we have, like, insane luck by the end of this, it might help. Okay, so I've got projectile reflection for the time being. I don't like these odds. I don't like the this location. At least the enemies in the forest have less health, actually. Which is kind of interesting. But very appreciable. Okay. <laughs> Problem is we've got we've got curse. We've got arrow protection. So that pretty much means. Actually, these Spriggans have a lot of health. Forget about that. So we've got... We got uh, Mana Shield. We've got... we got Mana Shield. We've got Projectile Reflections. So we can effectively just keep trucking. Gotta worry about those guys a little bit. You know what? That didn't work. That also didn't work. It sort of worked. It's nice being the Aeronautical Berserker. All right, let's see if we can... Yeah, thank you, homing. Unfortunately, curse you lack of mana. And I really wish this was actually a longbow or something. Well, it's not the end of the world. Just would... It would be a little bit nicer. Okay. Nope. And the problem is, like, I can't even kill these guys with what one butt stomp. You need two. I got, like, 45 health and I do eight damage per... Hello. Well, that's kind of useful. Fortunately, I'm carrying around all of these things that aren't going to help me that much. You know what? Let's get rid of this lightning wand. It's not going to help me too much. That hurt a lot. Oh, interesting. I was in, like, kind of the bugged turbo jump mode. Oh, that's what happens. Interesting. I fired a barrel straight into his face. I like that. We have to be very careful, because it looks like we're fighting the Wisp boss here. Then again, no we don't. Fighting the Wisp boss is actually one of the easier things that we can do right now. So before we go anywhere, let's dump these rings, figure out what this one does. Luminous, you are garbage. Okay. So I don't want to get... I don't want to hit the deranged... Oh, there's a golem down there. I... Oh! 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 Hello! Hello! All right, let's figure out what these do. Okay, so that is... Ooh, that's a lot of luck. It's tempting as a stat stick, but I think I'm going to dump it. Gold Collector, 7 luck. Poison resist Gold Collector. Uh, let's put these directly next to each other for comparison's sake. That is worth it. Intelligence, luck, fire resistance, poison resistance, yeah. So that's a damn, that's a damn good pair of gloves. So let's toss the improved archery. Now this is two, one, two, one, three, one, one. Ah, that poison resist would be nice. But at the same time, it does not eclipse this. Okay, let's get rid of that gold collector. Here's the problem. Oh, actually, no, it's not a problem. This is kind of a solution. 
to one of our problems. Let's switch back to the healing. Let's go over here. Let's heal up, because we're probably coming across the uh, Wisp boss on this floor. So let's use this one to its fullest extent, and then probably get rid of it. I can put this one on. Tundra, Tundra Wand of Healing. Okay, perfect. So why are we doing this? Because we got this ring now. I like mana bl blocking projectiles, but pretty soon that's not going to mean anything to us. But this is a damn good ring. So, what else do we have that I could turbo curse? Really nothing. Is it worth it to do it right now? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, I've only got one bow on me. No other items have dropped, so I wonder if they're going to spawn curse. That's an interesting question. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, the only problem is this is going to curse all of my bombs to me. Eh, I don't care. Okay. Let's let's get rid of this Tundra Wand of Healing, because it's not going to do me any good. We've got that equipped, that equipped. Okay. Now let's... Beat this bastard up. Switch back to this. Decurse. All right. So now, now we've decursed everything except for our God Curse stuff, but we've got this glowing signet ring. Which is going to be fairly handy. Oh boy, that was a lot of damage. That's exactly what we're looking for. Holy shit, those guys are fast. Thought so. Alright, so I've got potions of Featherfall. i got to consider the wor worth it factor here. Oh, speaking of worth it. Let's do it. I don't know if he can hit me while I'm doing this. Oh, perfect! I am a god of death! I'm even more bugged than usual. Alright, so before we touch the ground, let's go around as the the untouchable deity of destruction. Unfortunately, golems are still terrifying. Oh, didn't work anymore. I love that this is a thing. That So, if you start jumping with infinite jumps, well, you've got the, the, uh, slow, infinite jumps plus slow fall plus butt stomp equals this really bullshit maneuver where you can actually butt stomp upwards. It only works until you touch the ground, though. Or possibly other surfaces, I don't know. I've not had a whole lot of time to check, unfortunately. Or would do so more, more often. That said, it's no big deal. That's some kind of hokey bullshit, though. And I love it. Oh, crap. We've run out of mana. Uh, let's think, what can I do? What can I quickly do? Oh, you know what I can do? Bada bing! Guess this is a little bit. Because killing these golems would be nice. Are you dead yet? Nope. I don't really dare butt stomp these guys. Very often. Okay, there we go. Book of Heal. Oh, you are very late. You are very late. Good sir. Okay. That said, very late. I guess it's a wizard. So now we can scum. If only we could scum. I think we also have a pork chop sitting around somewhere. Yep, there it is. I don't really have much of a use for it. Oh, oh, we can, we can scum. Perfect. Okay, where the deuce did you guys come from? So suddenly, my projectile reflection business and uh, mana shield. Where, where were they? I don't know. Whatever. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to just. Scum. Hard as I can. Let's hope nothing just comes out of the woodwork to murder me in the next three seconds. There we go. Okay. And I can't heal because I don't, I don't have any. But that's why I've been holding on to all of these. Okay, cool. God, I feel terrible for doing this, but at the same time, it is absolutely necessary. Okay, good. And we've got a lot of intelligence, so heal actually will heal us a fair amount, I believe. Let's see how much it heals us by. Seven. Was our intelligence? Seven. Oh, no, it was my previous gauntlets that I have now gotten rid of. They gave me all the intelligence boost. Well, looks like I know why I'm putting my points in. 
Uh, let's see, so I got 309 gold. Uh, if there's a Shrine of Light, I, I know what I can also do. That'll help. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? I also have the Tundra Wand of Healing. And a bunch of Decur Scrolls. But we're gonna need these stat points bad. Mainly, damage. Oh, hey, if I... Nope, failed. I was gonna say, if I aim at a surface, we've actually got a leg up there. No such luck. Okay, so that one wisp is horrifying. But, you know what? It's better than nothing. Oh man, it feels good to scum. Unfortunately, we're not going to the catacombs this run. Kinda would have enjoyed that. Oh well. You know, in retrospect, I can do this, because I keep healing the shrine anyway. It's not like it cares. Okay, back to... Back to potions of magic. Magic. This is... This is going to be a long run. Hey, if we can actually get back to New Game Plus Plus, that'd be that'd be perfect. Let's see. What are people talking about me playing? Persona? Uh, I'm probably gonna play Persona, what is it, 5 when it comes out? I wouldn't mind per playing Persona 5. Uh, just because Persona 5 looks like it's gonna actually have good dungeons. Because I, I tried playing Persona 3 and its dungeons were just garbage through and through and it made me really sad. Ah, uh, because it's just like, alright, well, good luck. Good luck adventuring through this place. It's full of not, not really anything, which is kind of a shame. Um, that said, it's probably not going to be like a day one Let's Play, because I pretty much, by requirement, am going to need Shell there. Because otherwise, it's, I don't know, it's just not going to be that interesting of a game. For me. To do by myself, I think. Also, I want, I want her input on, like, romancing people. Because you know what, if I'm going to be like a boy toy man slut, I would like to have a boy, a at least semi-respectful boy toy man slut. There we go. I guess I've never actually seen Persona uh, 4's dungeons. I've just... So the reason why I'm not terribly interested in playing Persona 4, for example, is I've actually... I've watched both animes for, for Persona 4, and it doesn't appeal to me that much. Uh, to play it again, because I already know the plot. Because I feel like it would just be kind of a rehash of what I already know. Alright, so at this point, I should probably just start healing up. What are our stats now? 18s. Okay. That's encouraging. Especially because we've got some fairly good effects and attacks and whatnot. This is why I save all of these potions forever. Okay. And I actually do not have any more scrolls and stuff like that. Well, you know what? Let's drink one of these. I'm going to need it. Uh, let's see. Did I see the change for stability? Yeah, I know I know stability now matters in this game. It doesn't matter as much as you think it does, unfortunately. Like, uh, stability is never really going to be that useful. Because as a player, you almost never want to... Aha! Let's back away from that for a second. Think about our life. Alright, we've thought about our lives. We're gonna heal. Cool. Should probably switch back to fisting. And then death and destruction. That was very effective. Alright, so we get spider gloves, magic. Spike breaking. Spike bringing to spike protection. Okay, so that means we no longer have infinite jumps. However, that does guarantee us a hell shit. So these grab balls, that's not going to do us any good. Hey, that actually worked out great for us. Uh, breaking the curse shrine. Now, I do have the key. Let's go see what's in the chest. I have no idea if it's going to be cursed or not. That's an interesting question. But uh, still, if we're going to the crypts, infinite jump is effectively tantamount to worthless. Okay, and I have no idea if items, new items gained in the level will get you anything. I'm just going to assume... Uh, everything is going to be cursed that I've picked up here. Seems like a safe assumption to make. So I don't have any... I don't have... Any more mana. Not gonna get any more. I can start healing when we hit the next floor. And the next floor is going to have the golem boss on it. Which means I'm actually gonna have to be very careful with my mana qu quantity. Let's start putting points into intelligence. I looped through the entire list there. Whoops. Okay, so in that case. 
Let's actually switch away from the magic arrows. Wow, we've got every item in the book that makes it easy for us. So I've got an unlimited jump, yes, for now. Chances are I'm going to lose it pretty soon because I'm going to be squandering it. For spike protection. That uh, actually didn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to be. Then again, that's what... That's what protection does for a guy. What? I bounced him. And he does curse damage to me. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be having a whole lot of mana at the end of these. Which kind of blows. Then again, it's to protect me from taking damage, so there's that. Alright, identify. Comes... It doesn't come cur... Okay. That opens up a can of worms that I was going to ask about earlier. Well, that somebody was suggesting earlier, and honestly, if we, if we get into this point in time where we have to fight the golem boss with ho homing arrows, and he's, like, nowhere close to being able to harm us, I might do it. There he is. Okay, so we've cleared out that bottom. So the problem is, I'm wasting like half of my mana project uh, protecting against projectiles here. Which actually, honestly, given the situation, doesn't seem so bad. I just... There's so many arrows. Just gotta be very careful here that I don't waste too much. Okay. That's not costing me too much health, because... Mana shield. Like, the only damage I'm really taking here is from plants, and I've got a fairly high poison resistance. Yeah, it's three. So there's really not much for me to take damage on. I'm hoping there's a Shrine of Light on this floor. If we can get one of those, that pretty much solves a lot of problems. Ah, crap. Yeah, because, okay, we don't have to worry about basic poison damage. That saves us a lot of trouble. Oh, this isn't going to work. Yeah, no, can't hurt me. Good. I like it when that happens. Still gonna have to be careful for obvious reasons. I think there's like a crew of these guys here. Yep, there were. Ugh, that's a lot of them. That said, I know Kung Fu and or extreme butt stomping. Take your pick. Okay, what do we got in here? The answer is, oh, hey, this was a secret room. Actually, come to think of it, what do I care? Those guys can't hurt me anymore. You only need three poison resistance to completely nullify, I think, most poison in this game. So we get mostly garbage. I said mostly. Let's identify this one. Death protection. Plus two luck. Tempting. Let's throw it on. And... Like, the mana shield is nice. It is real nice. Let's... Hmm. Use both of these. Check out these greaves. Because we still have yet to find good boots. More super speed. I'm actually getting a little bit offended that that is, that, that is like the only thing that is even dropped from this run. I don't, I don't know. It just seems so boring. So blasé. That's another golem. Oh, perfect. Time to test this theory. It's effective. Pretty much guaranteed to end the golem boss fight in one hit. Just have to be very careful with it. At least we got at least we got death protection on. Which saves me a hell of a lot of trouble. And we're getting a lot of push, uh, scrolls of identify here and boots. Extra damage by walking or high jump. Nope, stick with high jump. 
mean, the thing is, like, high jump ain't... I might actually just stick with high jump and considering, like, god cursing it down. Just because when we get to the point where we're fighting... Oh, hey, I've got a lot of mana now. I should probably consider healing up. How the crap did we get down to this guy? Have I already killed the shopkeeper? I have not. Okay, so that is the one true concern that I'm going to really have to tangle with here. I think we've killed almost everything, actually. Nope! Is he in the secret room? No, he's just up there. So he actually did poison damage to me for once. Why? Did I take anything off? Oh, I did. Well, we're, we got to have death protection on for this one. There, there's, there's no other way to do it. So we have to worry about that guy. Okay. Do we have to worry about any other ones? Possibly. I'm just gonna hide over here for a second. Fuck! Well, there goes my death protection. So that's my fault. I guess let's throw mana shield back on. Okay. Let's see if he comes down. Please come down. If he doesn't come down, I'm gonna have to reconsider a lot of things. Okay, good. Unfortunately, that is not a convenient position at all. Well, time to get risky. Holy crap, high damage. High, uh, damage high score for sure. Oh, I do not have... I do not have unlimited jumps. Oh, I got that running. So we gotta, we gotta stay very, very far away from him. Lest he peg me with the boulder. Got him. Okay, let's take that crap armor back off. And let's consider our position in life. So we've lost death protection, a la me being Rambo. We've got some amount of potions of magic left. I'm really not keen on sacking too much health here, but we're gonna we're gonna need the damage even more so. Oh, let's go check out that treasure chest, which I actually was right at the beginning, come to think of it. Okay. Well that's actually kind of convenient. Did I check this place? Did I safety check it? I did. And it was just spiders. As far as the eye can see. Let's drop you. We're gonna we're gonna need the jelly cat for the next floor. I've got a fair I don't have much mana left. Alright, so we can pretty much sack down drink a potion of regeneration, call it a day. That's about all the sacking that's available to me. We still haven't found a shrine of light, which I think is the biggest pro problem. Okay. Well, now back up we go. I've already looted the place. You know what? Let's uh, let's go through here and, and heal this way.